How to Align Objects in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be discussing how do you align objects in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right on in. Now, if you don't see this dialog box, come up here to Window, click Align, and then this should pop up. Now, if you may only see these two rows, if that's the case, just click the little hamburger icon up here, click Show Options, and then you should see Distribute Spacing and Align To. Now, for the first section, we're just going to do Align To Selection. We'll talk about the other two in a bit, but first, Align To Selection. And let's just go through the top row, which is Align Objects. All these do is take two or more objects that you have selected and align them to the left, the horizontal center, the right, the top, the vertical center, and the bottom. So I'll just do each one one at a time. There's left, back up. Here's center, back up, horizontal center. Here's the right, back up. Here's top, back up, vertical center back up and bottom. The next set of icons is distribute objects. And what that does is it will distribute objects based on their sides or their centers. So the first three are for vertical. This is vertical top, vertical center, vertical bottom, and then horizontal left, horizontal center, and horizontal right. Now for the vertical ones, let's grab these three. I'll click the first one and show you what that does. Distribute vertical top. So the top of this red object this green object and this blue object are equally far apart from each other. And if it, it doesn't look that way because this green one is so skinny and the blue one is so long. But I'll show you by drawing a box from here to here. Let me get that just right. And then click and drag it down to about here. And you'll see that those are the same space. Now, I don't have it perfectly there, but you get you can tell that they're the same. Now, if I select those again and click the second icon, which is Vertical Distribute Center, the same thing happens, but it's going off of the center of the red to the center of the green, and then the center of the green to the center of the blue. It's the same distance. And if I click the third one, it's going to do the same thing, but on the bottom edge. So the, the bottom edge of the red to the green is the same as the bottom of the green to the bottom of the blue. Likewise, for the horizontal group, we'll grab that and click this horizontal distribute left, and that will distribute based on the leftmost side. So the distance from this leftmost red to the leftmost green is going to be the same as the distance from here on the left side to the left side of the blue. If I click this middle icon here, which will get horizontal center, then from the middle of the red to the middle of the green is the same from the middle of the green to the middle of the blue. And if I select them all again and click Horizontal Distribute Right, from the right edge to the right edge and the right edge to the right edge is going to be the same distance. The next two icons are under Distribute Spacing. And these are similar to the ones above. But uh, I'll show you if I select the vertical group and then click Distribute Vertical Space. What it does is it will create the same amount of space in between these two objects as is in between these two objects. And the same thing if I grab uh, the horizontal ones and then click this horizontal distribute space. You'll see that the space in between here and here is the same as the space in between here and here. So rather than going off of a side or the center of the object, it's more about the space in between the object. Now under Align 2, you have three options. We did Align to Selection. The second one is Grayed Out. And I never actually come in here and select this manually. I'll show you what I do instead. I select the objects I want to align. Then I click on, one click, the object that I want to be the key object. And you'll notice that it gets a thicker selection outline. So my selection outlines are blue. It's just going to get a little bit thicker line. You may have green or red or something like that. It depends on your settings and what layer you're in. But if you look over here under Align To, it automatically got selected when I clicked on the red rectangle. So what's cool about Align To Key Object is that now all of these uh, alignments are going to be based on the red rectangle instead of based on all three objects or however many you have selected. So if we click horizontal align left, they're all going to snap to the left of this red rectangle. Center, right, top, 
center that way, vertical center, and then bottom. Another section that's grayed out that only becomes available when you have a line to key object is this distribute spacing section here. Now let me just select these three. Click again to make the red rectangle my uh, key object and you'll see that this becomes uh, available. And you can put in a certain amount of space or you can have zero. Uh, let's just do zero and then click vertical distribute space and you'll see what happens. All three objects are right next to each other. There's nothing in between uh, any of those objects. Now let's select them again, click on the red rectangle and let's just say 100 pixels and see what that does. Click distribute vertical space, boom, there you go. Same thing works with these. You just click here and instead do horizontal space or you could do again zero, click enter and click that button again. Lastly, under align to is align to artboard. And that just means that all of these um, alignment tool options are going to now align to the artboard, which is this white big square here uh, instead of aligning to objects. So I'll just kind of click through these and show you what they do. Left side of the artboard, middle, right, top, vertical center, bottom. Uh, and if I do this, let's see, we'll distribute back up a few and I'll show you the vertical distribute which would be here distribute space the last option to talk about is over here under the hamburger icon it says use preview bounds now if I uncheck that and let's just add a black stroke I'll put it on the outside and we'll make it about 70 points that's pretty good and if I select all of these let me make the red rectangle a key object by clicking on it. And then I have zero pixels. So let me just click align, uh, distribute horizontal space. And you'll see it ignores the black stroke. Now let me do that again, but this time I'm gonna say use preview bounds and click on here to make it my key object and then press this button again and that time it distributed the space based on where the stroke is, not on where the edge of the object is. So that's just a nice little thing to know if you are messing with stuff and you have some strokes on things and you're like, hey, it's not really aligning perfectly or not distributing the way I wanted it to, you might wanna to check to see if this option is checked or not. If you liked that tutorial, let me know down in the comments below. Go ahead and smash that like button and check out some of my other videos right over here. And I will see you in the next video.